Hello guys, my name is Carlos Durana and today I will give you tips on how to achieve the fresh lung or the natural no makeup look. I'll be doing an everyday super glowy healthy looking skin makeup tutorial. The no makeup or the fresh lung look is more complicated than it sounds. Although the name itself suggests how natural, it's no secret that achieving this supposedly effortless look requires the actual use of makeup. And to be quite honest, it's even more difficult to keep the coverage to a minimum while gunning for a flawless finish compared to just simply piling on foundation. And more local brands are popping up and more of them have been coming up with uh, new formulas, shades, palettes, collections that are perfect for our Filipina skin. So later while I'm doing the step-by-step -step process, I'll show you some makeup brands that I'll be using which some of the products are available in department store or even Watson stores. And I have a model for today. She's one of the prettiest faces in Bacolod, our Master Queen 2018, Miss Ella Mercado. I'm so excited to do this makeup video. I hope you like it and I hope you will learn some tips and techniques. And by the way, after this video, you can ask me some questions or tips or suggestions regarding the tutorial. So without further ado, let's start. Preparing your skin for makeup ensures that it goes on evenly and stays put. The better your skin looks to begin with, the better the makeup will look. So therefore, take steps to cleanse your skin, apply moisturizer, and prime the skin before beginning any makeup application. Here, I'll be using this Japanese Charm Cooling Spray from Miniso and Lux Organics Facial Moisturizer. Next is we apply the Jojoba Oil Nourishing Serum and this goes on clean skin under moisturizer. Usually it has more concentrated moisturizing, anti-aging, antioxidant ingredients and don't forget to moisturize your lips by applying this Lucas Papau ointment. Use the Oil Control Moist Primer and it goes on top of moisturizer before the foundation and it provides a base for foundation and usually makes a foundation last longer. There are so many different kinds of foundations, so choose one that suits your skin type. For example, if you have an oily skin, you may want to consider using a matte or also known as non-shiny finish foundation. But I suggest to use the long-wearing makeup foundation. Here, I'll be using an Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in Tony Shade. Promise, it's long-wearing and less retouch. So whichever foundation you choose, if you want more coverage, make sure it still looks natural. And you can use a makeup sponge to apply 
using the same blending technique. Apply concealer on the areas on your mouth, the chin, bridge of your nose, and under eye area. Just make sure to blend it well. After using all liquid products, apply this MAC powder in a shade of NC30 Compact Powder Foundation and Air Spawn Loose Powder on areas that tend to get oily. You can use sponge in applying powder and this technique provides coverage and also makes the skin look flawless. Next, take a spoolie brush. This duo and one will do to help brush your eyebrow hairs and then with your brow product of choice, slightly alter your brow shape creating a slight peak where your natural arch is. Apply a brow gel and flop your brow hairs back into the place with your spoolie so they fall into place and so that the arch looks natural. And then finally, applying concealer will even out the tops and make your eyebrows pop a little more.
I'll be using a papyrus color, a little coral color from Detail Makeup Palette. It's a local brand actually, but the colors are so beautiful. So first, dust onto your lids and blend it upwards. And then, contour the crease with the brownish, the Thebes shades from the same palette. We want to achieve the natural look, so start from very light brown. Then, apply the shade of Cleopatra on the cut crease. I'll be using this Maybelline line tattoo pencil so instead of using a liquid eyeliner so after that you can top it with black eyeshadow powder from NARS for tight lining then apply this light brown shade on your lower lid Using an eyelash curler can help your false eyelashes appear more realistic by giving them a natural shape. The curler can also help blend false eyelashes with your own lashes if you have them. You want to curl your lashes after applying them false eyelashes but before applying mascara.
Contour your nose but make sure it is soft and very light. Applying white eyeliner and putting highlighter on the inner corner of the eyes and brow bones will make the eyes look wider, brighter, and more awake by seemingly extending the whites of your eyes and covering up any redness on your waterline. Contouring in the most simplest terms enhances the structure of the face. By highlighting the good bits at the top of cheekbones and bridge of the nose and a shadowing the not so good bits like jawline and puff cheeks, it will give shape to the face. But the key is subtly and blending lots and lots of blending. Blush can add a touch of softer, flushed color and is also great for day wear, but use it sparingly. Blushes are often very pigmented and can go on heavy if you're not careful. Here, I use this NARS Super Orgasm shade. Finally, using a highlighter will give your skin an instant refresh. Accentuate your features and camouflage dark circles when applied with care. They are my go-to products to create juicy, glowing skin, particularly when I'm creating a no-makeup makeup look. I'll be using this Q-tip or disposable lip brush to apply lipstick and lip gloss. Get a small amount of product on the mixer and do not directly apply from the lipstick. This will prevent or to protect your client as well. So number one here is cleanliness and sanitize your makeup always. This one I use the BLK shade of Sophisticated.
And now the final retouch. Alright, so that is the finished look for everyday and easy, fresh, glowy makeup. So you will always look and feel your best when you are showing your true colors. So find a way to express that through your makeup. It's all about what makes you the most comfortable and how you feel most like you. Please follow my social media account, the Carlos Dorana Makeup Studio on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and till next time, bye!